Hi guys everyone, welcome to another episode of Be Gaming. Today there are a few things to talk about. So there's a new maintenance update, which is the Merrick farming event. I'll be sharing it with you in another video about the farming decks and the reward card. For this video, basically I'm showing you a potential king of game free to play deck. So basically the combination is based on hazy frame. This is the VIP, the core of the card. A lot of us do know that once you summon hazy frame, you can declare one cup type, monster, spell or trap, send the top card of the deck to the graveyard and special summon a monster if you get it correctly. I did not use aroma strategy like a lot of people do because this is basically a 14 monster deck so you just have to call monster most of the time and you will get it right 70% so with this I have a bit down you will swarm the front row heavily and I'm backing it up with some brotherhood cards so the fire brother hazy formation so fire the brotherhood card has two support spell card which is the fire formation goyuku so basically this is a continuous spell so once you activate this card by targeting one set and trap card your opponent control they can't activate the card in response to this activation so what does this card do this card basically has two purpose one is to lock down the back row and you most likely you wish that you will knock down the trap card like mirror wall and wall disruption because hazy frame is pretty much neglect all the effects of card effects like econ enemy controller like super rush so with this you ensure something and he has another effect which is beast warrior type monster you gain 100 attack so that's pretty good and we have next the fire formation Taxu. This is one of a summoning spell as well as another effect to gain 100 attack for Beast Warrior. So I will show you in the replay, I will explain to you how to use these two spell cards correctly. So next I have only one level 5 Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Swallow. So basically I can special summon this card by sending 3 face up formation, fire formation spell or trap to the graveyard. Usually you wouldn't do that because you'll be throwing this 3 out of these 6 to the graveyard to summon this guy. Which I don't think is much use unless you have no choice. Next I have the Cyton which allows me to mill up a very important card in the deck which is the Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Coyote. So this what does Oh sorry, not this card, this card. The Buffalo Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. So what does this card do? When this card is in the graveyard, you can send two Fire Fists, monster or spell from your hand or face up on, your, on the side of the field to the graveyard. Special summon this back to the board and you can tribute summon with this hazy frame or hazy frame of this and of hazy frame of cyberus so pretty much i have a lot of level 6 cards to go along so i will show you in more of my replay on how versatile this deck can be i really enjoy playing this deck and i have a lot of success playing this deck and i believe if i'm not trying to show you the replay properly on all the effects i will be king of games with this deck so I hope you guys enjoy and remember to subscribe, give a like and follow me on Facebook and my channel for more information. So this time I'm against most likely the machine deck and I'm going second which is a good thing. So I started up with two field spell, one Cyberus Hazy Frame level 6 and a Centaur. So I just let him do what he does. So next, I have my combo. I have this Centaur, it's a level 3, Hazy Frame, level 6. So what I do, I activate Fire Formation Taxu. 
because one of its effect is that I can do another normal summon of one beast warrior. So this is not a beast warrior, this is just a beast. So I can do the hazy frame combo. So I just do a hazy frame and I predicted monster but I was wrong. It's okay. I just bring my attack up to 21st to do a bit down to 2400 to overpower. In the next play, I will guess monster again. And I got it right. So I do another big down. Special summon, attack. He just instant give up. He knows that he can't overpower my deck because if I manage to get 3 level 5 and above monster with big down, I will easily get 3100 attack. So in this replay, I believe it's against a ninja deck. So which is also a very easy win for me. So let's just go on to replay. I, I'm i going second again. So that's a good thing for your bro. So I open up with a fire formation, which I can instantly mark down any of your spell and trap. That is important. I have this buffalo. I can throw it this graveyard and I can special summon it to tribute. So I have a decent starting hand. So I will just use Centaur to attack because I decided to go aggressive with it and I always activate the effects to throw up buffalo but I did a wrong thing. I throw up the one on my hand which throw the one in your deck. Just remember that. So next he used his Bad Ninja to attack me. I just keep throwing my buffalo. I use the buffalo effect and I discarded two of the spell. I special summon this hazy frame Preato. So what does this card do? Once it's summoned on the field, I can discard one fire monster. I I can special summon two hazy frame monster from my deck. Pretty simple. And I use the effect. Look at this, 2800 meter. Just mash him and overpower him. Simple as that, easily. I I prefer this deck than I would say Aruma strategy, but I do believe my skin does help a little. But I just prefer to overpower with more level five monster on the field. The beat down will be much more pain. So this is a Cyber Angel replay. I wasn't even know that he's playing Cyber Angel honestly because seldom player use Cyber Angel on Ishizu. So on the first turn he quickly summons Sanju. On my hand I have fire formation to knock down one of his back row. My card is not really good but I have the heart of the card. So just wait and stay tuned. So on my next turn, I was lucky to get up Buffalo. So I'll just use Buffalo to attack and I'm hoping that you know on the next turn he won't overwhelm me with uh, any OTK which he preserved his strength which is his date fall. So he got his Cyber Angel Decaney out, not to worry because the boy got it covered here. You throw it to the graveyard, I summon another hazy frame. You'll be thinking, oh you're dead. You left with level 5, level 6 monster, but look at Buffalo. Effects to throw away two Buffalo and Fire Monster on the field. Special summon, tribute summon. I try to beat down, but I'm still not powerful enough. So just wait. Hazy frame. This the this is the VIP to allow me to summon two more hazy frame on the field I guess monster beat it down 2900 2800 2900 GG game over easy peasy like a cheese I hope you guys enjoy this deck and have success with it I'm pretty proud of this deck to be honest so I'm always willing to share out some new decks, free to play deck and competitive deck with you guys. So make sure to subscribe, give a like and leave your comments down below. 
So against Pegasus, it's pretty much Cyber Angelic. Play. So I'm going first. Not really good, but we shall see. I open it up with Tetsu. I will just, you know, bring kind of conservative. Actually, the right play I should do is to set this, summon this, tribute summon this, and gas a monster. I will have two front row, but I decided to take it slower a bit to test my luck. And he attacked me, and I use just use buffalo effect. I'm more comfortable in turn two. This card most likely is gonna be econ, but who cares about econ when you have cyber angel? No, sorry, hazy frame. He's totally unaffected. He don't cares about anything. He don't cares a shit. He's just attack true. He's a base and beta down. OTK Cyber Angel in turn 5. Just uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'll be coming up a farming deck later for Merrick event. So, hope you guys just give me a few more couple of hours. I will be trying to do that video ASAP. And this final game is against Joey Villa. It's pretty much a very easy bit down. So, the purpose of this deck is to swarm your front row to the maximum within the fastest turn you can. And basically, it's easy peasy from there. So, pretty much the same. I'm just playing around with. He has two of his bad rolls, so I decided to go conservative. And next, I'll just activate the fire formation, fire formation to show them my power. And special summon, buffalo, tribute summon, and just keep on filtering out and beat it down. Three heroes in his face. He tribute, I'll just take it slow. He left with one card. No point, and I won. I hope you guys enjoy. Feel free to leave your comments down below for any question. I will be free to answer you on what kind of combo you can do. Basically, there are, I would say, three to four combo to get this guy out. You can do a normal tribute. You can use this special effect to tribute one fire monster because all are fire monster to the graveyard to special summon to hazy frame including cyberus to the front row you can use the fire formation to do a additional normal summon you can do buffalo effect from special summon so there are four ways to get hazy frame out to beat down your opponent Hope you guys enjoy and have a good day, afternoon and evening. Signing off.